What's up, Sagittarius? And thank you guys so much for tuning in. So guys, I am sorry for the delay on these readings. Um, there's just been so much going on this summer and I have a really uh, huge announcement to make for those who haven't seen it in any other video yet. But I have been saying this for a while and you know, I'm finally putting my foot down and doing it. But um, I am finally at the point where I am no longer going to be offering personal readings anymore to the public. So if you guys do wanna get a reading before I close out, I will keep it up on my website until the last day of August. So hopefully you guys see this before then. Um, but yeah, I will keep it up until the last day of August. So let your friends and family know. And guys, um, because I have been announcing this on every single video, a lot of people are taking advantage of this. So it does not matter what day you select. I'm not looking that at all. It's first come, first serve. I don't care like what date you put. You know, once someone purchases it, I just put their name down and I'm just doing things in order. Um, a big part of the reason why I'm letting this go is because I just went through something very, very heavy this summer. And for the first time, you know, I wasn't in a place where I needed to help people or that I wanted or could help people because I needed to help myself um, and I just got so much backlash I had so many people who are angry at me calling me a con artist you know saying I'm a fraud because I was just literally like I, I just needed time to just recuperate from something that I had gone through so it was just it was disheartening to have to deal with that and it's just not something I ever want to feel again because I'm just out here trying to help as many people as possible but for you know any spiritualists out there you're gonna know that this work is taxing and it's not something where you could just sit down and do 20 readings back to back a day you know on a good day you could probably get out six to seven and when you have hundreds of people who are coming to you you know you, you can see how people can get upset so yeah guys this is going to be the last you know um you know shindig this is the last of it so if you guys want to read and go ahead and get it um but all i you know all i'm saying is do it if you're patient if you have something that's time sensitive purchase an emergency reading and you'll get that within five business days but if it's not time sensitive just honestly purchase it and forget about me and forget about it okay you'll get a confirmation reading uh, you get a confirmation email rather so you know i'll just get to it when i get to it i'll send it to your inbox but i'll get it out all right guys so I'm gonna shut up. I'm done talking. But yeah, it's been a good run, guys. I'm really, really happy to just take on uh, new adventures in life. So let's see what's to come. But yeah, I will still be here on YouTube. So you'll be seeing me still. If not, you'll be seeing me a lot more. Okay. All right. So Sagittarius. Uh, not Sag. Yeah, Sagittarius. I'm like, who's reading right now? Sagittarius. Um, so guys, um, it's definitely been a crazy summer. We made it. We've done it. I hope you guys had a good one. So we're going to backtrack a little bit since technically this is the August mid-month. So we're going to do about August 15th to September 15th of 2019. Just keep in mind this is general. Whatever comes out, comes out. And this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Sagittarian signs. All right. And just keep in mind also, guys, that the energy could be transferable. So it could be you I'm picking up on or someone around you, okay? All right, guys, so we have past, present, and we have future, okay? All right, guys, so the energy that we have here is the six of cups in the reverse. So when this energy comes out, it's going to be one of two things. Either there's something that you're amicably putting in the past, or there's something from the past that comes back in and it's something that's amicable, okay? We have the Six of Pentacles and we have the Ten of Wands. So whatever this is, guys, it's something that ultimately can really bring you balance and it could be something that you're doing because of a burden that you felt. So maybe reaching out to someone for help because you felt burdened or putting something in the past because you felt burdened by it, okay? So it's gonna be different for everybody. I just feel like, you know, there may have been something in your life that maybe wasn't panning out the way that you would have thought. So you're just like adjusting accordingly. All right. But let's get into the actual reading and see what the story is. So starting with your past, guys, the first card that we have here is the Two of Cups. So the Two of Cups talks about, you know, a very close relationship that you have in your life. This could be a friend. This could be a lover, a family member. This could also be something like a job, you know, having a close attachment to a job that you work at. Why is this Two of Cups here? Emperor in the reverse. Let's get one more. And you have the Eight of Cups. So there's a situation here where somebody wasn't being honest. Either they weren't being honest with uh, you know someone else, or um, you know maybe you weren't being honest with yourself. 
but you're walking away from something where you know you have to be real with yourself this isn't authentic for me now the good thing is you have the world card and you have the ten of swords so even though there could be a strong feeling of betrayal here or just feeling like something ended harshly the world card promises a new and very very amazing chapter that's going to come into your life so definitely keep that in mind um now the next card that we have here is the devil card Sorry guys, my computer cuts me off sometimes when I'm recording, but yeah, the next card was the devil card. So this could have been something toxic that you were dealing with, whether it be a person, whether it be, you know, personal habits that you had. So let's see why this is here. Uh, the devil card also represents Capricorn, so it could be that as well for some of you. We have the ace of pentacles in the reverse, so you're letting go of whatever's toxic for you. You don't want any part in it, and you have the magician here where... Um, you're probably just manifesting something in another direction, to be honest with you, because it shows that you're standing your ground and you're going towards something that you're very passionate about. So you're replacing something with another thing, and it doesn't have to be like one person for another person. It could be, let's say, you leaving home and then taking your dream job or um, maybe breaking up with someone but then just focusing on a new career or something. But you're in a place where you're really in manifestation mode because of something that you let go of. And with that world card, it's something that's going to be very you know, promising with you. The last card that you guys have for the past is the lovers, okay? So that's self-explanatory. Um, it doesn't always have to be romantic, although it, it'll highly suggest that something is, but it could, again, it could be someone just very close to you, like the Two of Cups. So we have the Knight of Wands, so that could be you, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, is what Knight of Wands represents. Let's get one more card. The Fool card in the verse. So there's a love situation, honestly, or something that's just very, it hits close to home in some way, shape, or form, that is just a bad idea. With the full card in the verse, you know, if it wasn't something that you withdrew yourself from, then you were probably getting, or like finding yourself just in front of a lot of roadblocks and, and road bumps when it came to this, okay? You have the five of cups in the verse. So most likely for you, or you know, it could have been for somebody else, there's a person that they're not really in so much pain, okay, as this is happening. Um, and if there is any pain that you feel, it subsides very quickly because of something that comes into your life. So it's like you let something go and then the wheel of fortune starts turning. And it's just like, oh, finally, you dropped the dead weight. Bam, here you go. I've been trying to give you this. So it, it's definitely something like that. Um, the first card that you have for your present moment, you have the hanged man. So the hanged man, this is going to be somebody that really just goes with the flow. They're not going to bend over backwards for something that doesn't feel natural for them. Um, you know, this is the person that is just, you know, if it wants to leave my life, I'll allow it. If it wants to come in and it doesn't seem like, sorry, one of my lights just died because it's like one of these stage lights that I have here. Need to get a second one in a new battery. But anyways, the show must go on. But um, yeah, this is someone that... Um, you know, if something wants to come into their life and it doesn't seem like something that would be detrimental, they're, they're going to go for it. They're going to do it. Okay. So let's talk about this. Why is this here? We have the five of swords. And two flips here. We have the seven of cups and the queen of pentacles. For some of you, maybe this was with the Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or maybe something that had to do with your finances in some way, shape, or form, or just someone that seems stable. But maybe they are or aren't, but for the most part, they could seem stable here. Um, just general, generalistically, like, is that even a word? I don't think it is. I think I just made up a word. But just in general, someone who could come off as stable. Um, but there's some sort of conflict here. But you're taking the route um, of least resistance, okay? With the Seven of Cups, this could be something that's an illusion in your life. Or this could be when you have a lot of options for how to move forward. And you have to kind of choose which option you want to take. So the next card that we have here, guys, and this is the center of your reading. So this is kind of like a central energy the way I see it. Um, with the Hermit card in the reverse, this is going to be, in some cases, a person that's coming out of their shell. Okay, the way a Hermit does at times. But it could also be someone who's moving forward with something without having all the facts. That doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing unless it's like a test you're going to take. You want to make sure you're prepared. Um... But maybe it could just be you're, you're starting a new career and you're, you're learning as you go. It could be that sort of thing, okay, where you don't know everything, but you're, you're still there and you're willing to learn. Um, so let's see what this means, okay? Now with the energy, there's the Four of Cups and the Two of Swords. So whoever this is, I feel like they're aware that they don't know everything about this. 
okay? And maybe they have a hesitance for taking it or moving forward with it because of that. We have the Wheel of Fortune. And you have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So something feels like a loss, something debilitates you, but you eventually make the right judgment in regards to that and you really stand your ground with it. And again, that Wheel of Fortune keeps moving. So whatever this is, it's like, oh shit, I didn't expect that or I didn't know it would turn to that, but I'm still gonna move away from it and there's still good things coming in. Okay, so this doesn't this doesn't completely throw you off. This is something that, you know, maybe derails you, but you're, you're still driving, you're still going forward. The last card you guys have for the present moment is the Page of Wands, okay? And the reverse. The Page of Wands in the reverse, if this is not you stopping talking to someone or them not talking to you anymore, then this is just a lot of shit talking. This is gossiping. This is rumors. This is just someone that just wants to hear themselves speak, honestly. Okay? You have the Four of Pentacles in the reverse. So really being guarded towards something. And the Three of Cups. So there is celebrations that come in for some of you. Okay, but for others, this could have been maybe a third party situation or something that had to do with a group of people where you're just like, nah, I'm not doing this anymore. This has to end. So um, I would say for maybe a little bit less than half of you, there is something really big celebrating. But for others of you, you're just realizing something and maybe it's a group of people that brought you to this realization. Maybe it was a third party situation in love where you love someone, but maybe they had somebody else, that sort of thing or vice versa. But, you know, that's what I'm seeing here. Now, going into the future, guys, the first card that you have is the Ten of Cups in the reverse. So this is a card about just being unhappy with how something works out or maybe pretending to be happy in something that you're not. You have the Knight of Cups. So for some of you, that could be a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio or something that just really puts you in an emotionally good place. Um, but you have the Queen of Cups in the reverse. So whether this is you or someone else, um, somebody here is just really sad about something that's going down. And it's like somebody really someone's heart was really in this or someone really really wanted to do this but with the seven of swords there were secrets here so with the knight of pentacles and you know even the eight of wands page of swords in the reverse it's like you're talking about this but you're not moving forward with it there's something that's kind of like reckless about it and it i feel like it just brings you know unhealthy energies into your life and this says everything angel of the lanui all right so this is angel of the night guys and the fact that this is in the reverse well let's talk about what it means upright and the upright, this is someone that could have just gone through a dark time or something that was very, very heavy. But this angel comes out and says, look, this is about to end. And not only is it going to end, but you will be rewarded. And there is blessings coming in and I am protecting you. Okay. In the reverse, she doesn't go anywhere. She's still there. She's still protecting you. But now it's saying, look, you're putting something off. You're holding on to agony. You're holding on to pain or you're holding on to something that's not going to work. And you're prolonging it. This could be done and over with, but you're prolonging it, okay? So there's something that you guys are actually extending that could bring more, you know, stress into your life. And for some of you, maybe it's not something you have any control of. Maybe it's like a living situation and you, at the moment, just don't have control of that, okay? And I totally get that, but um, at least, you know, addressing it, knowing what the problem is and working on a solution, you know, that's a viable option there. You have the Hierophant here. My favorite card. Let's see why it's showing up. And then we had a few cards pop up. So we have the Page of Swords in the reverse. We have the Eight of Wands, Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. So I kind of just spoke about these two because they just came out in the energy. Um, but there's something that's kind of like holding you back from fully having a peace of mind that you need. But guys, on a good note, with the higher font here, this was something that was meant to happen. This is something that you were meant to come across. Sometimes we see people get themselves into unnecessary bullshit. It's just like, you know, if you didn't punch that person in the face in broad daylight at, you know, a preschool, maybe you wouldn't be in jail right now. You know, that sort of thing where it's just like you knew better. Um, but in this case, I feel like whether it was something karmic or whether it was something that um, is, is, is just throwing you on another course, it was for something. It's just not meant to be there. I think it, it was something that was meant to kind of push you there or direct you there. Okay. The last card that we have here, guys, for the future is the High Priestess. So you know this. Okay. When the High Priestess come out, you're totally in tune. This is when you really have to go with your intuition. All right. It doesn't matter if you don't have proof for something. If you feel like something is foul, it's foul. 
If you feel someone's lying to you, they are. If you feel like, you know, you're not going to have a good time if you go out and do something, it's probably because, you you know, you wouldn't have. So you're really going to want to go by gut instinct here. We have the Knight of Swords in the reverse. And we have the Ace of Cups in the reverse. So something that you have to let go of that would have been reckless. And again, with that High Priestess, you know. Your soul knows what you need to do. Your soul knows you can't accept this in your life anymore, but you're between a rock and a hard place, and it's something that you're having a very hard time letting go of, but it's something that needs to be put in the past, okay? So I feel like you guys are battling yourself right now, honestly, because your soul knows exactly what needs to happen, all right? All right, Sag. So I am going to pull you guys some advice, and let's see what comes out from this. And guys, I don't know if I said this before. I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself, but I do post daily energies every day on my Instagram. Um, I have an Instagram that's High Vibrations Tarot and then High Vibrations 44, which is a personal one if you guys want to check those out. All right, so let's see what's up here. What is the advice that I can give to Sagittarius for this time? Knight of Pentacles fell out. So that can be a uh, Taurus Virgo or Capricorn energy. It could also be someone taking a very methodical and not necessarily slow approach, but a well thought out approach towards something where they're not going to move forward until they fully understand that step and then they go to the next step and, you know, so on and so forth. So we have the judgment card in the reverse and we have the ace of cups. Okay. So there's going to be a huge change where something is just an illusion and someone's sad about this. Okay, and it's something that I feel is currently in your life with the world card in the reverse. So let's see what these cards are trying to say. Why is this Knight of Pentacles here? We have the Seven of Swords in the reverse. A secret that comes out, maybe in regards to Taurus Virgo or Capricorn, or something that comes out where you know you have to kind of take a slow and steady approach to something. The Ten of Cups in the reverse. Someone's upset about this judgment. Someone just makes a bad call, honestly, from what I see. Um, and with the Eight of Wands in the reverse, you remove yourself from whatever this is, but something new does come in. Okay. So you have the Emperor, the Three of Cups, and the Seven of Cups. So you guys just get to the point that regardless of how you feel, you know, with the Emperor, this is someone who's going to go based off of wisdom, not emotion. And that's what makes them an incredible leader because they're not going to think about something in the heat of the moment. This is someone that can, um, what's that book, like The Art of War, someone who's really going to think something out and they're not going to react right away. You know, they really... Um, they really write things out and think about them and, and think about how everything can affect everything else. So they're just going to make the wisest choice here. So regardless of what's happening in your life, it's definitely a need to really boss up and to really just make something, um, I don't want to say disappear, don't make it disappear in a bad way, but to kind of make something go away that's not serving you. And then that's when you have these incredible new beginnings, but you kind of have to take that leap, okay? So... Yeah, guys, very clear cut. Um, I will be back with your September readings very soon. Um, and I'm excited to see how this is going to continue. But yeah, guys, um, I love you guys so much. Thank you for all the support you've been giving me, the donations to the channel, especially now that I'm not going to be doing readings. That's definitely something, you know, that'll keep the channel going. But yeah, guys, um, if you want a reading, you have until August 31st at midnight to get it. Um, I might leave it up till the next morning because I know everyone has like different time frames all over the world or time zones rather. But um, yeah, so once that's down, that's down. But for those of you who got readings from me, for those of you that are going to get a reading from me, thank you so much for trusting in me. Um, you know, I feel very confident in the work that I do. And that's why I was always very, very busy. But now it's time to just start a new chapter and really just clear my energies and just be able to focus more on me because now it's like I kind of have the lifestyle that I want. But now it's time to kind of do that inner work that I didn't really have that much time to do. So I'm really just excited for that. So I love y'all. And if you guys need me, you know where to find me. Take care.